Welcome back everybody. Welcome if you are new today. We're in the limited late models here at Lernerville. Uh, ran a decent time in practice. Fast as I've ran so far at this track is a 270. So not much quicker than I ran here. Down to two, two, two fours, two fives. That's really fast to me. I can't, I don't have that kind of speed here. I'm hoping in qualifying I can get into like a low threes maybe. Because the track's starting to slick off a little bit in three and four. It's really weird. Usually this track slicks off in one and two a lot more than in three and four first, but now for some reason this track is slicking off in three and four a lot more. So it's going to get real thin up there really fast, and I'm probably going to move down in three and four. One and two is not that bad actually. I used to be so much worse in one and two than in three and four, but just with how quickly this slicks off, you got to hit it like perfectly. Which isn't that bad right now, but give it like 10 laps in the race and it's going to be awful. You can full throttle it on the top. 269, I'll take it. 1000s quicker than I ran in my practice time. Then I ran my fastest lap. Second lap. Was my second lap a 269 as well? Did I run 269 both laps? If so, that's extremely consistent and so far we've got the pole. Did I really run 269 both laps? Yeah, I did. Nice. That's that's kind of crazy. That never happened. But so far, we've gotten the pole. And every, all the guys up here have taken their laps. So a couple guys left to qualify. Hopefully, we can keep the pole. That would be amazing because there's no cautions. And just having the pole for the start will be a huge help. So hopefully, that will happen. But I'll pick you guys back up when we're getting ready to go green. All right. Well, we did end up keeping the uh, pole, which is awesome. Everybody actually took a lap, which is nice. I just need to get a good start when the uh, pace truck takes off. Because it takes off in three and I can go at any point after that. I didn't see you, but I'm slow as so I'll keep my mouth uh, The 13 was actually the second fastest in practice. A little humor in that. <laughs> he was second fastest yeah, in practice first, and he had a bad lift, qualifying well, time. spin the wheels so much and I just don't, I just can't seem to turn with times in these cars. Where is he at? Oh, he finished, he qualified last. I was wondering where he was yeah, at because he was like, asking about I like that. The uh, faster car is better here. Faster cars all are more fun most of the time. Try to get out here before everybody starts going too wide through the um, gate. Sure the that usually doesn't go too well. Start. Not damage our car down this hill too because that could happen. At Four. least when this track first came out, that used Four. to happen. I don't know if it still happens now. Because I haven't done that in a long ass time. If you just go sending it off of uh, the edge there onto the track, sometimes you get wheel damage and stuff. But I haven't done that in a long ass time. But it makes it fun. If uh, It makes it interesting, at least. You have to be somewhat careful coming onto the track. But yeah, I expect the top lane in 3 and 4 to get worn out quite quick. And move down to like a lower line just in 3 and 4 for a while. Don't know how worn out one and two is gonna get over this 30 lap run. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Good to know. <laughs> it's a quick 30 lap race, my dude. It's literally gonna be like a 10, 15 minute race, if that. I think probably like a 10 minute race. So just don't wanna go over the edge, mainly. Keep the car straight, try to not go over. The main thing. Guys starting on the outside kind of have an advantage, I'd say, for the uh, guys back there that aren't on the pole. Got a decent start, able to get out to a lead at least. Got a little too sideways there in one. I'm hoping to make some time up in three and four while it's still here. Run as good as we can. They almost went off the edge there. I don't want to be super close to it like I was in qualifying because... You barely get your right rear over and it wants to take you. I had a really good one and two, okay. Maybe one and two is where I'm gonna make my time, which I'll take it. Sometimes if the car doesn't want to turn going into the corner, I barely lift or like I lift and tap the brake at the same time. It'll get it to rotate a little bit for you, but also I don't want to go too high up the hill, so I let off and it kind of works out for me. For most time, most of the time at least. But if you get up in the slickness, it might push you up the track, it might be a little different. 
getting that right rear right on the edge. I wasn't as close as I could have been, but it got scary for me for a second. One and two is getting worn out quite quick as well. Okay. It'll be interesting to see where people start running when this top lane in three and four starts to go like all the way away. Really was not turning that time. I was really just like off the throttle a lot. One and two, I can probably stay in the gas a little bit more. But getting a good lead so far on second place, they really wanted to push up the track as the track's changing in front of our eyes in the corner. That doesn't help me out. A little too low there. I'm really just trying not to go over is the main goal. Because if you go over, your race is probably going to be done. Unless literally every other car goes over at some point too. And most of the time in practice, I was going over in three and four. I was going over in three and four and I was flying out to that wall, like coming off of four. Way low there. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I just turned in early as hell for no damn reason. For some reason, I, I was thinking somebody was coming back on the track and I don't know why. But it's starting to get very thin out here. Got a couple lap cars. I expect lap traffic at this track just because you can go off the edge so easily. You never know where they're going to pop back up. When it starts to get slick like that, I can kind of use the slick to my advantage a little bit to get the car rotated. Oh jeez, lap car. Okay, he's going to stay high, I guess. Because that's going to kill my time, though. Outside, outside. Thank you, 14, for being in the fucking way. I don't want to get up behind him. And now he goes low. 14, can you move? Like, learn to be a fucking lap car, please. Go low. Thank you. You probably thought I was trying to make up time down there or something, but I wasn't. The top side is definitely faster. Thought I was going to go over there. Three car about went over behind me. I saw in the mirror. This 14 is getting on my nerves, though. Just stay low, please. Okay, it's getting slick, though. In three and four. He's, like, really messing me up and going in my corner entrance, like, really bad. Because he, like, is up in front of me and then ducks off. And it's really throwing off my timing for the corners. Move. Thank you. One guy's gone. That was a 13. That was really good in practice. It sucks when you show you that you, that you have a lot of speed. And then you really screw up your qualifying time. Three cars trying to make something work down there. Lap car in his way. Oh, I thought he was going to pull up in front of me. He definitely had the room. I was going to try to go under him if so. Should be able to pull him down the straightaway. Not quite. He might throw a slider here. God, it is so hard to run three and four, but it's definitely quicker. One and two definitely works a little lower still. So I need to take that into account. I need to get higher in one and two if I'm going to make it work on him. But hell of a battle. Really clean racing. It is hard racing, though. Like, this is the kind of race I was hoping for when it gets slicked off. But I was hoping I was on the low side for it. Don't come back on track. Don't come back on track. You're a fucking idiot. Thank you, three car. I went in real low, so I'm super loose. Three car got clear of me. He might actually stay down there, to be honest. Because he's making it work. That's going to be a good run down the front stretch. Don't know where he's at. I don't know how close he was. I didn't want to like go flying up the track. 
I had a hell of a run down the front stretch though. Cause I was like putting the right rear out there. Like right on the edge. But yeah, this started getting so gripped up. You can make that work in one and two, which is unfortunate for me for the timing of it. Cause first the 14 held me up a ton and got the three to catch up to me. And then he gave me the top and then the bottom started working well. So that's very bad timing for me, but it is what it is. That's racing. I just wish the 14 would have gotten out of the way the first time. Great race by the three though. That was clean as hell racing. That was a lot of fun. Let's see if we can chase him down now. If I'm gonna do it, I'd have to run right on the edge in three and four, but I do not want, I'd rather finish second. Oh geez, they're wrecking behind us. Come on, man. I'd rather finish second and not go over, then finish like fifth or so and go over the third, wall, or the edge. Else. Three car got too high there. That lap car is gonna, oh, I thought he was gonna bounce off and hit him now. Yeah, he's running a real good race though. I was holding my own on the outside for a little bit. If I just would have thrown a slider there in one, when I had that huge run off of three, might have worked. But also, I don't know if I'd have taken us both out. But I, I just held the inside, which was super slow. But it is what it is. Let's see if we can do anything here on this last lap. This lap car is going to run real low at least. Stay somewhat out of the way, but I don't have a chance of him. Good win, three. That was a lot of fun. That was a ton of fun. I thought uh, we were going to wreck when that eight car bounced off a of four, but you gave me plenty of room. Thank you for that. <laughs> that was yeah, super Yeah, I kind of saw that. I saw him pulling back up. I was like, I want to get ready. I'm just going to stay well. Yeah, that was a clean as hell race. I can't. I cannot ask for anything better than that. But when I started catching the 14 here, I wish he just would have gotten out of the way. If he just would have gone low, like right here really screwed me. Because when uh, he just completely screwed it there, I would have had such a nice run. Three cars started catching me. I went low here in three and four to try to get by him, but that kills so much of your speed because this, this is not gripped up yet enough. Three cars started catching me real quick then. That's when he started going low. I wasn't able to make it up on the 14 on the bottom side. It was just so frustrating, man. And then he started going low, and that's when the uh, low side actually started working out pretty well. I think the three car started realizing that because the outside was getting so hard to run there. In three and four especially. Went three wide on the lap car, that was uh, nice. I had a good run on the outside, he had a really good run in the run in the middle. We just split the lap car going into this uh, corner. I thought the 14 was going to push up or something, or I thought he was going to throw a slider. But he, he leaves room out there. I go back by down the front stretch, and we just had a hell of a race here. We just had a hell of a race. This was a lot of fun. This track is really nice when it gets worn out, and you don't go over, because I was on the fucking edge a lot. <laughs> it would have cleared on that lap. I should have went low in 1 and 2 here. But I, sh I realized how much he was making up in 1 and 2 right there. And that's when it was just too late, because I think he stayed on my inside the rest of this race. And I just wasn't able to quite make it up. And the one time I had a huge run on him and I crossed him over down the front stretch, I should have thrown a slider, but I didn't want to wipe both of us out. I want to see where that eight car hit the wall. And he gave me enough room to get by three wide, which was nice. But you could see if I actually was hitting three and four right, I was getting so much down the front stretch. One and two, he was just able to keep uh, enough space on me. Was this where it was? I heard something hit the wall. Yeah. All right. I thought I thought that was going to be a lot worse. He gave me plenty of room. I cut it kind of close in the eight, but I, I didn't know how far down he was going to go. And then he got clear of me here. He stayed on the inside. I just really got on the edge. My right rear is out there. And I stayed in the gas. Had a huge run. Jumps to the inside. He ran the middle. I could have probably thrown a slider. It would have been close though. I didn't want to wreck both of us. And I just, I ran so low. I didn't have uh, enough momentum. 
but that was a ton of fun. I'm happy I never went over. Great clean race by the three. That was awesome. Congrats to him. That was a clean race. Super, super good. Very happy with how it went. Could have gotten the win potentially, but that's okay. I'll take second and not go over the edge with how close I was cutting it sometimes. Like as you, as you can see right there, I was on the freaking edge. I was trying my heart out. Really was. But I'll take second. Great race by the three. That was a ton of fun. Can't ask for anything more than that. So let's go see what we end up getting out of this. We were car number two, finishing second. Should gain some eye rating out of this still, which would be fine. And uh, I'm just happy for a clean race there. Actually might lose a little bit of safety because of a uh, 2X contact in practice. Because uh, I think it was a four car, like, messed up coming off a four, and he was, like, dead stopped. I tried to miss him, and my back end clipped him, and um, I got a 2X for that. So it might lose a little bit of safety, but that's fine. I'll take uh, a little bit of safety loss for a great race like that. That was a lot of fun. So let's go see what we end up getting. All right, results are in. Strength of field was 23.58, so mid-23 is not too bad. He had the fastest lap as well, barely over me. I'll take it, though. We were the only ones in the threes. Yeah, we were. So we were definitely the top two fastest guys, ran away from third. Oh, I never did go back and see what happened with them wrecking back there with the five and all that, but I was too focused on our battle. That was just too much fun. I can't. I could not ask for a better race. What was number one car? He was in, A lot of us had pretty close I ratings. He lost enough to where I'm above him now, and the three car is pretty close to me. So we had a lot of close I ratings up top. Now I'm, I could not ask for much of a better race. I don't think I've ever raced with him before. I don't recognize the name, but that was a clean, very fun race. Could not be any more happy with how that went. Besides winning, that would have been awesome. But congrats on the win to the three. That was very fun. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, we gained 35 I rating back over 4,200 again. That was just too much fun, but I appreciate you guys for watching as always. I just said that even though I'm just an idiot. I'm too flustered by this race. That was just a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race as much as I had being in this race. That was, that was great. I can't get over that. Like I'm like speechless over the race, just of the battle that we had, how clean it was and that we never got into each other. We were very close to a couple times. I needed gave me, we were three wide with lap cars twice. So that was very interesting, but let me know how your guys' races are going this week. And if you did this race, how did it go? Hopefully you guys don't go over the edge in the corners. If you don't go over the edge in the corners, I think you can get a top five pretty easily. You can run that midline the entire race and probably finish top five. Everybody else would just probably go over the edge. So assumed a lot of people did that. There's a lot of two X's. So I assume a bunch of people did. This guy actually had a zero X. He just wasn't very quick apparently. So, oh well, but let me go. Let me know how you guys are doing this week and I will catch you guys in the next race.